Hey folks, welcome to B5Bricks, hope you're all well. In today's video, it's another Gotham Police Department mock, and this time I've made an armoured prisoner transport. It's a fairly hefty, chunky vehicle which is used to transport Gotham's supervillains from police custody to the courts, and first I'll cover the exterior and then show you the inside. I've used one of my favourite LEGO colours for the majority of the build, the navy blue, and there's also black and grey here and there as well. And a bit of a first for me, I've used some GCPD logos on this as well. Now this is actually a rebuild using mainly the cab section of a Jurassic World T-Rex transport truck that came out a few years ago, and the cab to me has the look of something like a Chevrolet box van or a Ford police truck, so I tried to keep the front section pretty much unchanged. Up front there's plenty of space for the driver and the whole top comes off so it's easy to access, and behind her here is one of the holding cells. I've kept it very sparse and simple in the interior here with just a steering wheel, and on top I've used a LEGO Movie Police rooftop piece with the 10th Division sticker on it, it's just a nice wee detail that adds a bit of realism I think. And I like the side fuel tanks on the Jurassic World truck, so I've managed to incorporate them here and added the exhausts as well, I think it looks kinda cool. For the GCPD logo I had made stickers, which is a first for me, but they were too reflective, so to get that matte effect I've just printed straight onto paper in black and white, and I think this looks actually quite good. So around the back, and the Riddler is under lock and key here, and I've used a simple prison door. I've pinched this go to jail sign from the older GCPD car, as I think it's more appropriate on this vehicle. Oh, and these large pieces here, I'm so glad to make use of them. They are quite interesting pieces that came from a Nexo Knight set, and I've struggled to incorporate them into any mocks at all, but when it came to making this mock, I remembered that rectangular hole in the middle, and was thinking that they would look perfect as side panels on a prison transport, so I took the stickers off and cleaned them up. This section is on jumper plates to make it really easy to open, and each prison cell area can be removed as well, and this really makes it excellent for play. The kids were straight away able to get in there and take the figures out and put new ones in, and it didn't break either as the chassis is quite strong. There's not too much to the prison sections, I've kept it really simple. The main thing is being able to put minifigures in and out, and I watched the kids rescue the bad guys endlessly by blasting off sections of the truck, which I thought was a really cool feature. They had Batman and Robin rounding up criminals, getting them arrested, and then escaping from the truck before they got to Arkham. I was going to incorporate a function to push, which would break open the panels, but Jumper Plates does the job just fine, and they were attaching chains themselves to the prison door, and crashing the truck, and rebuilding it, it's just fine, so it works as a playable vehicle. And to give you a sense of scale, here it is next to this police cruiser which came with the Batwing set, and it actually fits with this colour as well. You can see the size, and if I put my Batmobile 1989 mock with it, it all looks kinda smart, it looks cool together, and it kinda fits in the size thing as well. I mean, my Batmobile mock is pretty big though. Yeah, this looks pretty cool together, and I reckon it's a great reuse for that Jurassic World truck as well. I hope LEGO actually gives us more GCPD vehicles in the future, and not just variations of bat type vehicles or mechs. For the minifigures, I've used a few of the LEGO movie super secret police torsos and the legs, as they are in this dark blue colour, which just looks way way better than the LEGO City versions I think. And I've used one of my favourite minifigures of all time from the Batman movie, the Barbara Gordon as the police commissioner, and she's guarding the Riddler on his journey, what a great figure she was. So I'm pretty happy with how this one turned out, I could have used a far more complex opening door or side panels, but to be honest I wanted to keep it simple and use those Nexo Knights pieces and the chassis of the Jurassic World truck, and it came together quite successfully. I'd love to know what you think, and have you made anything similar?
let me know in the comments and leave me a like if you enjoyed the video. And for more content like this, if you do subscribe to the channel and click the notifications bell too, you can stay up to date with all my videos with mocks, money saving tips and my micro Gotham City updates as well. And whilst you're here, why not check out some of my other videos too and I'll catch you next time. Bye!